President Buhari don't sign Executive Order 009 for Make Nigeria Day Free from Open Defecation. Bill to control social media don't pass second reading inside Senate. Nigeria said they disappointed on top social media bill. And Dino Melaye don't land INEC headquarters to made and cancel result of election within due. My country people, I greet you now this evening and thank you so you join us for As It Take Happen. My name is Nana Douglas. And for the first story, we will carry on for now. President Muhammadu Buhari don't sign Executive Order 009 with entitled The Open Defecation Free Nigeria by 2025 and Other Related Matters Order. On top one talk paper from Buhari Special Advisor on Top Media and Publicity, Femi Adeshina. The other come, sake of the one where they position Nigeria second for the world for people where they poo poo for public. Then put the number of Nigerians where they poo poo for public as 46 million. The statement talks say President Buhari been described in Nigerian position on top open defecation and access to pipe bomb water service and sanitation as something where they disturb them. We make them declare seriousness to begin chook eyes on top the national water supply, sanitation, and hygiene wash action plan. The other declare say the national open defecation free ODF roadmap will be say now Federal Ministry of Water Resources Development with support from other Kajat players across Nigeria is said they will begin work on them. The executive order start from Wednesday, November 20, 2019, will be today. And still on still, Federal Executive Council, FEC, don't approve two memos we go make justice system for Nigeria, they better pass as it day. The first memo now to ensure access, fair and speedy administration of justice for Nigeria. And the second memo now to cancel the Geneva Convention on top rights where prisoners of war get. Minister of Justice and Attorney General of the Federation, Abubakar Malami, now announced the approval to State House correspondent inside Abuja on Wednesday. The intention is to work together for the purpose of assisting the justice sector administration in terms of having speedy administration of justice, quality administration of justice, and access to justice for all. That, in a nutshell, was what the justice um, sector policy that has been approved by the Federal Executive Council today is all about. The second um, memo that was presented by the Office of the Attorney General is Geneva Convention Act CAF G3, Laws of the Federation of Nigeria 2004, is a convention that was designed to provide protection to prisoners of wars, to people involved in arms conflict and, associ and, uh, and associated infractions, for example. For my own side, the Minister of State for Finance, Obi Money Mata, J.D. Agba talks say the council approved request for one 500 million euro sovereign guarantee for Bank of Industry to fund business and to support industrialization and microfinance. Then they source the loan from Credit Suisse London for single digit. He adds say CBN go swap the money for Naira to reduce risk of foreign exchange. And uh, this is going to be executed through the Ministry of Finance, Budget, and National Planning. The main objective of the loan is to support uh, industry, revitalize agro-industrial processing zones, to facilitate the creation of uh, new jobs. We do believe that about 1.2 uh, million uh, jobs uh, would be created uh, through this uh, uh, facilities, uh, increase the income of farming communities and promote the inclusion of MSMEs and smallholder producers in industrial value chains and the deployment of uh, transportation infrastructure that connect farming communities to processors and markets. When they yarn to Tory people, Minister of Power Saleh Maman talks a FEC approved the memo for the release of $2 million as counterpart money for West African power pool, WAP. And on top, another one, one bill would they, would they bring to control internet, that is use of social media inside Nigeria, as it be now, it don't pass second reading for Senate floor. 
For in presentation for Wednesday plenary, Senator Musa Mohamed Sani talks say if they pass the bill, it will help reduce lilai news for internet. For the debate, Senator Sani talks say the bill will control how Nigerians they use social media, plus say it will protect people where they use internet from information we no carry weight. This bill is not an attempt to stifle free speech or dissenting views. It is rather an opportunity to address a growing threat which, left unchecked, can cause serious damage in our polity and disrupt peaceful coexistence. While the internet has democratized information, the fact remains that it has also been a weapon in the process. But when they contribute for the matter, Senator Chi Marokin Naman explains say laws with this cyberspace they enough to take care of the bill, just as he talks say other countries we don't develop no get that kind of law at all. I not only oppose this bill, I condemn it in its entirety. This bill is an attempt to surreptitiously introduce the sanction into our law. There are also laws in the land that have to deal with uh, false information, libel, slander, and uh, peddling of uh, so-called fake uh, news. And when they rule on top of the matter, Senate President Ahmed Lawan talks say, I made them take the bill to Senate Committee on Top Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, and make them report back for the next four weeks. Meanwhile, as Senate don't do U-turn on top death penalty for people where they do hate speech on Tuesday, Nigerians talk say then they disappointed sake of the, how lawmakers carry the bill too personal, plus the kind of attention we then give the bill. They can't call the lawmakers say make them come up with a bill where go some death penalty for politicians where they steal money, and that one go show say then they serious to pursue corruption come out from the country. Uh, so the, the, in one way or the other, we can try as much as possible to control what we say about another person or about another tribe. But uh, the kind of punishment that we follow such a, a speech should be something that is moderate. So the uh, that death penalty they are talking of, that one will would they too severe? For my own observation, the general public of Nigeria, they are, they are expecting that corruption penalty should be death, uh, uh, death sentence. And they now start adding that a speech to be death sentence. So to my own opinion, the National Assembly can still come in into this matter. Instead, they should review the penalty for each speech, maybe some years imprisonment. Sure, you get me. And also go to the area of corruption and let corruption penalty be dead in death sentence. But the talk we no good way to feel inside people. You get plenty, plenty branches. Politicians themselves, they don't tell us plenty lie. Where many people don't die. They don't kill them because of hate speech. Many people were there for this country, especially our big, big men. They don't lose their mouth, make talk. Waiting don't kill many people, especially they don't use their mouth inside people to kill them. They never, they never even carry them go court one day. So me, I believe that as far as his speech no good, uh, make them allow the court to take it uh, rightful place because they then go feel judge which can, whether his speech deserve death sentence or deserve uh, any other punishment. Uh, the, 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 the law or the courts should look for. What was another punishment? You know, that deserving punishment. I mean, deserving because it's a, it's a grave crime. So any other punishment is a, is welcome, but definitely not a, a, a death sentence. And still inside Senate, this Senate don't again try to begin amend the 99 Constitution. This one follows first reading of 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria Alteration Bill 2019. We'll be saying an Anambra Central Senator Uche Ekunife sponsor him on Wednesday for plenary. When I feel remember, say, National Assembly for different times don't try to amend some sections of the 1999 Constitution, but it didn't work at all. And for the next story, before before Chiamo, Senate Committee on Top Federal Capital Territory, 
Senator Dino Melaye on Wednesday, Don Carry One with no go agree worker to headquarters of election joint body will be Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC for Abuja, where he said make them cancel the Kogi West senatorial election. INEC Seke, Rose, Orianrian, and Tony, and National Commissioner Chamo of their Information and Voter Education Committee, Festus Okoye, now then received the senator today. Melaye will come with 21 video clip of Bege and shooting by agents of Kogi State Government as he take Tokam. Tell Tori people say he carry with no go agree Wakakon INEC office to take back a mandate where they steal. According by him, this one a battle of no retreat, no, surre no surrender. Okoye will receive the petition on behalf of INEC Chamo, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu. Talk say the commission will look into the petition and take necessary action. Federal government talks say then go increase the number of HIV AIDS patients within the sponsor from 50,000 to 100,000. Director General of National Agency for the Control of AIDS, Dr. Gambo Aliu, now talk this one today for one press briefing, sake of the 2019 World AIDS Day, where they come soon. Dr. Aliu talks say the agency will step up to provide counseling and also ginger Nigerians to go know their HIV status. It talks that the target to give different strategies of talk talk, especially to people where they live inside village, to help reduce the one where we say people they get HIV. And from that, to remake, we enter another one where consigned the military. Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tukurbura Tai, don't decorate 21, 22 Brigadier Generals and one Major General on Tuesday evening. When they arrange them, the Army Chief tell the officers, say, make them pay attention to the welfare and training of soldiers. Even as he talks, say, the promotion don't add to not only the work of the command, but the Nigerian Army in general. He talks, say, they present many people for promotion, but now few of them then consider due to some kind things where they beyond the control of the service. Lieutenant General Buratai can't tell Army people we miss the promotion opportunity, say, make them pray and make them no fear, but make them put everything for Baba God their hand. You must remain responsive. Responsive to your troops. Responsive to the challenges that you may come across in terms of responsive to the troops' welfare, responsive, responsive to your administration, responsive to the training needs of your units and formations, as well as be responsive to the call of duty. When they advise the officers, Chief of Defense Intelligence, Air Vice Marshal Mohammed, Mohammed Usman talks that the promotion come with additional work. Say as it be, make the no fall hand at all. To whom much is given much is expected. As you start performing the rules of the new plan, note that all eyes will be on you. If for nothing, just to justify that the people that promoted you did not make a mistake. And I will also urge you to uphold this which is the man of the military service. And the 23 officers were then decorate. Now, part of the 141 senior officers with Army Council Board been approved their promotion. My people, thank you. Say you they part of the program for the news as it take happen. We they come back with business news. <music> And on top business news today, Senate Committee on Top Public Accounts don't give more than 600 government agencies seven days from November 20 to submit all the money where they don't, where they don't enter their office and the one where they, don't, where, they don't, where they don't spend from 2017 to 2019. Chiamo of the committee, Matthew Urogide, now give the deadline when they young with Tory people on Wednesday. He talks say, even though they don't send many letters to agencies, that is government joint body, where it in affect, none of them respond to the request of the committee. Senator Urogide named Federal Inland Revenue Service, CBN, NIMASA, NFF, AMCON, NSITF, FRSC, as some of the government joint body where the matter affect. 
It talks say Section 85 of the 1999 Constitution don't give the committee power to make sure say government agencies give proper account of how then they spend money will enter and come out from their office. Is hereby issued to defaulting MDAs and other organizations of government to, without further delay, make submissions within seven days, that is the 20th to the 27th of November 2019, on their responses to the issues raised by the committee in its various correspondences regarding their income and expenditure operations from 2017 to 2019. The defaulting MDAs, Office of the Accountant General of the Federation. Federal Inland Revenue Service, Federal Capital Authority, Federal Capital Territory Administration, Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, Niger Data Development Commission, NDDC, National Agency for Science and Engineering Infrastructure, Nigerian Investment Promotion Council. In fact, we are told that Niger Federal Airports Authority just sent in their you know, um, um, there are documents to us. The Nigerian Football Federation, Federal Rules Maintenance Agency, National Space Research and Development Agency, Nigerian Building and Rural Research Institute, Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety and Safety Agency, that's the MASA, Petroleum Equalization Fund Management Board, Ministry of Niger Data Affairs, Presidential Amnesty Program, Nigerian Petroleum Development Company, NPDC, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Agency, SMEDAN, Federal Road Safety Corps, Nigeria Airspace Management Agency, Nigeria Insurance Trust Fund, NSITF, Industrial Training Fund, ITF, Nigerian Railway Corporation, the National Primary Healthcare Development Agency, Central Bank of Nigeria. My country people, if you want to know the future of Super Ego's coach, Ganet Raw, will they come back with sports news? And on top sports this evening, Minister of Youth and Sports Development, Sunday Dari Talks say the issue of contract extension for Super Eagles coach Ganet Raw, they for the hand of the Nigerian Football Federation, NFF. The minister gave the clarification on Wednesday for Abuja for one short meeting with Raw before he rush go the weekly Federal Executive Council meeting for the presidential villa. Raw present, con uh, Raw present contract as a big go expire for June 2020 will go fall for the middle of the 2021 AFCON qualifiers. The minister can talk say the ministry will continue to give the coach all the necessary support as NFF don't finalize their meeting on top of the contract matter. A can ginger the coach say make it not allow anything to distract him at all, but make it work hard to take Nigerian football to another great level. My people now the Tori be that, but before we go, make we tell you now we inform our top Tori again. President Buhari don't sign Executive Order 009 for make Nigeria day free from open defecation, the one where people they poo poo for public. Bill to control social media don't pass second reading inside the Senate. Nigerians say make them say they they disappointed on top social media bill. And Dino Melaye will be senator don't land for INEC headquarters say make them cancel result of election where they do. Thank you so you join us for As It Take Happen this evening. From all of us here, I say good night. And my name, Na Na Douglas.